The Tenrai event has returned to Halo Infinite. Now have the learnings that we've gotten from the store and the challenges come to the Tenrai event as well. And we also have some information about the tactical ops and some leaked customization there for you guys. If you want to know more? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So let's check out the new event here guys and see if anything has really changed about this right now. One thing that's pretty cool right now is that since it is Black History Month, if you log in to the game of Halo Infinite, you'll be able to receive this new emblem right here. But a lot of changes have come to the store since the last time Ten Riot has come around. So what has actually changed about this? Well, it looks like we have individual and bundle items kind of mixed together right here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, though we do see that the bundle that we had previously is being sold for 2,000 credits, uh, probably just because, well, this was sold previously for 2,000 credits as well. And you can kind of see how it has a stance, it has a coating designed specifically for the Yoroi armor set, a different helmet, a mask, a visor, a chest piece, shoulder pads, knee pads as well. The heart piercer being sold for 800 credits comes with a different kind of chest piece addition right there. And they're kind of visor for your character, as well as a pretty sweet stance with a sword. So if you guys like this one, that's, you can pick that up for 800 credits. And then for 1000 credits, we have the Silent Sentry set, which actually has coatings for your Yoroi, as well as other armor sets in this game. You can see this actually looks like a pretty sweet armor set. Like, Color. I would actually rock this totally. Uh, you got different types of shoulder pads right here for your Yoroi armor set, another type of chest piece right here, which looks pretty awesome. Some different knee pads, some emblems. I was like, oh man, we're looking at emblems. I don't really care. Right here we have the Mark 7 set with the blue and gold armor coating right here, which, which looks amazing. Like it looks pretty sweet. I like that one a lot. And we also have the same thing for the Mark 5B, which is great. Cross core coatings, I'm all for that. But what about the challenges? How many challenges are in this for this uh, go around? Well, for the challenges, we'll have up to 10 to complete for the week. Uh, so if you completed all your challenges from the first and second week, this is the third week. We have six weeks total of 10, right, by the way. So keep that in mind that you'll be up to level 17, which will cover what you can unlock in the battle pass here pretty soon. But here in the challenges that we have the weekly unlock of a cool coding right here, which looks to look pretty freaking awesome. And much like the previous 10, right, events, all the challenges are going to be played through the feed fiesta playlist which is like the featured playlist right now and i've looked through some of these challenges right here and none of them are really too crazy like just basically kind of like play fiesta kind of stuff and you'll eventually get the stuff done like get 10 kills play x amount of matches win one game get some assists and things like that so nothing too crazy like get one double kill like eventually you'll kind of get that stuff but plus you can also just swap these out for other 10 ride specific challenges on top of that like I mentioned, the event playlist is the Fiesta playlist once again. Now, if you completed all your challenges for the past few weeks, this will be from level 18 to 28, where you'll be able to unlock. You have this coding right here for your Yoroi. You have an emblem. Pretty sweet looking type of weapon coding right there. And that visor coding, a different types of kind of like waistband kind of things right that you can put on your Spartan. Uh, another chest piece, a pretty sweet looking coding for your pistol right here, so keep that in mind whenever you're grinding through. The different kind of helmet for you guys, for your Yoroi, kind of like a crazy like looking skeleton-y kind of menacing mask kind of thing. Playing off the Japanese culture, you can also put like a mask over that as well so you can keep your social distance while playing Halo. <laughs> uh, you also have a cool stance with the rocket launcher as well as a coating for your battle rifle as well. And as I mentioned previously, we'll have six full weeks of the Tenrai event, so you have plenty of time to go through your battle pass here. Now, once you're done with the Tenrai event, which ends on February 8th, right after that, you'll have the Tactical Ops event. Now, this is a leak of what could be part of the Tactical Ops pass that we'll have coming in. This will be kind of along the same lines that we have for like the Winter Contingency and the Cyber Showdown event. If you guys remember that Scorpion Punch coding that we've seen from a lot of marketing from pre-release stuff, this will actually be part of the Tactical Ops Pass, guys. So we'll finally get a chance to unlock this coding that we've seen all over the marketing for Halo Infinite. You can see other items like a stance, a visor, a weapon charm, a backdrop. You also have the Mark V Zeta helmet, which does look pretty freaking awesome. A new Mark VII attachment piece right there. Another hip attachment, a different type of glove. Again, the coating, as well as an attachment for that same helmet, which looks kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. 
Now this was either a bad leak or things changed, which I'm thinking things actually changed because we definitely had this leak before the recent outrage when it came to the Tenrai event and the changes that they have for the types of content people want to unlock when it comes to these passes. Uh, this was the leaked battle pass before uh, the recent information that just went live where you had a bunch of challenge swaps and XP grants, which are nice, but definitely something you don't look forward to grinding out for because what we have right here is a whole heck of a lot better. We also have some more leaked information about different types of customization right here. We have some Xbox Game Pass rewards, as you do know right now that you can go on the Xbox Game Pass. If you're a Game Pass Ultimate user, you can redeem a lot of different bits of customization with kind of like a black and green kind of coating. Looks like they're kind of keeping around the same kind of vibe, but maybe just like a different shade of few things. So if you're a Game Pass owner, Make sure to keep that in mind that once these rewards do go live, I'll make sure to share it on the channel so you guys know exactly when to redeem these awesome bits of customization. So right now with the Tenrai event, it's just kind of the return to the same stuff. The store really isn't improved because it was kind of held back from previous iterations of the store that was being sold. So you can't like sell the same item, but cheaper this time around because it would completely screw over the people who paid that kind of money, you know, a few, just a few weeks ago. And again, Tenrai will last until February 8th. And then we'll have the Tactical Ops event coming in, which will last for two weeks on top of that. So we'll see some solid improvements, I'm sure, when it comes to the Tactical Ops, when it comes to the store and also the bits of customization. I mean, like just from the leaks that we saw from the Battle Pass for the Tactical Ops event, we already see that 343 is listening, making changes and improving the experience overall when it comes to Halo Infinite. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Do you like how the store is working out right now? Are you going to be picking up any of those awesome Yoroi armor sets? Let me know in the comments. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. And thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out these videos right here. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.